composite functions are where you put one function into another one. So this says find f g x. So what that kind of means is f. So the input is actually the whole g of x function. So the input, what you put in here for x, is going to be this whole function. So the input is going to be x minus 2. So f g x, so if we put g into f, g into f, that means we've got 2, and then we put g in there, so x minus 2 plus 3. Expand the bracket, so 2x minus 4. And simplify, so 2x minus 1. So that is fgx, so we put g into f. For gfx, it's the other way around. So we're going to put f into g. So all of this is going to go where x is here. So gfx, so we've got f, well this is going to be the input here. So 2x plus 3 goes in, take away 2. So 2x plus 3 minus 2, that's 2x plus 1. And find fg of 4. So that means we're going to put, well, we could either use this function here, or if we didn't have this already, we could put 4 into g, and then put that answer into f. Um, it'd be easier to use the function we've got here, but just to show you how to do it, I'm going to use, I'm going to put 4 into g first. So g4 is 4 take away 2, which is 2. And then if I put 2 into f, so f2 is 2 2s plus 3. So that is 7. So let's have a look. If I did put 4 into fg, so if I put 4 in here, 2 4s, 8, take away 1, 7. So it gives us the same answer, which is good. So there's our answer. Let's have a look at the next one. So it's the same sort of thing. So if you want to pause the video, give it a go, you can. And then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so the first one, we're going to put G into F. G into F, because it's kind of like the whole thing going in. So G into F. So wherever I've got X here, I'm going to put this. So F G X is 3 times 2X plus 5 minus 1. Expanding the bracket gives me... 6x plus 15 minus 1, which is 6x plus 14. gfx means I'm putting f into g. So gfx, putting f into g, so 2, this, 3x minus 1, plus 5, which is 6x minus 2 plus 5 which is 6x plus 3. And g f of 3, so we'll put f into 3 first. I mean 3 into f first, so f of 3 is 3 3s minus 1, which is 8. And then I'm going to put 8 into g, so g of 8 is 2 8s plus 5, so 16 plus 5, that's 21. I can check that's the same answer. So I have this one here. If I put 3 in here, 18, 3 6s, plus 3 is 21. So I know I've done it right.